Hey, welcome yo. to the video, y'all. Hope y'all enjoy. Smack that like button below. But now, you're in the mind of YS. Welcome. Does he want to be? Hey, what's up, y'all? Hey, yo. Here we got another video. This is actually, I say, my first fantasy start players video. Like, who to start, defenses, top waiver wire pickups. Um, let's definitely talk to it. You know, talk about it. Perfect. Does he want to be? But first, make sure you drop a like at the bottom of this video and subscribe to the channel above. First, we're going to talk about Demaro Douglas. On the Patriots. Nine targets last week. Pretty solid. You know. I mean, they have Kendrick Bourne and all that, but definitely get DeMar Douglas. He could be a top pickup. Get you around maybe 10, 15, 20 points. You know, definitely a good pickup. If he's on your waiver wire, make sure you get him. Definitely good pickup. Not bad, not bad. Did he have a touchdown last week? Yes, he did. 92 yards, 9 targets, like I said. Call it, what, 6? That's pretty solid. The next one I have here is a really good one. Really, really, really good one. But first, make sure you smack that like button, y'all. <laughs> Go with Juju. Great pickup. Um, as you know, Rice is out with a season. You know, he had to get surgery. Season end an injury. Should be back next year. Might get suspended. Who knows? So, Juju might get more targets than Worthy. Worthy, I feel like, is more than a, a playoff player, maybe. And don't mind me, my... My lips still numb. I had to go to the dentist. But Juju is on Kansas. Definitely a good player. I would definitely pick him up if he's available. Make sure you get him. Start him in your flex. I mean, of course, if you have three good wide receivers already, it's tough, but still pick him up. You can add some depth. I wish I could have got him in my other league, but I got him in my other one. I'm four and two. Lost last week by 10 points because of Zach Moss. Zach Moss could not get me 10 points if he would have got, you know. But let's not get off topic. Juju is worth it. So if you guys have him, make sure you pick him up. Perfect. Right. Let me know. Comment below. What you think of the video, I appreciate all the love. The next one, tell you about. And we got here is Drake May. He got five carries. He's a quarterback. 30 yards, maybe a super flex. Depends on what type of league you're in. You know, he should pop off. Patriots aren't doing that great. But, you know, Justin Fields is going to get benched. Russell Wilson is starting. You know, Drake May might be a good option. Like I said, it depends on your league. But not too much about him. We're going to... Next one. Oh, 
All of this is at your own discretion. Take my advice or don't take it. Just trying to give you guys some advice. Next, we're going to go with Jalen Warren. Hasn't been having a good season, but they're projecting him to do well next week. Or this week. I think they have their bye coming up. He hasn't been doing too much. He's on the Steelers. He's a sleeper. And of course you have Najee Harris. I don't know. Something tells me he's going to do good. Sooner or later. But if you guys can get him. I'll definitely keep him in for depth. Might be a smart move. Next we have. Ooh. 49ers. Leave or pick if Jordan Mason does not play. Depends. Here we got Isaac G. Had some good stats last week. Let's see. 99 yards and 10 carries. Not bad. I would definitely snag him up if you have Jordan Mason, even if you don't. On the 49ers, they're 3-3, three three, 140 rushing yards, 6.4 yards per rush attempt, 22 rush attempts. Don't have a touchdown yet, but if Jordan Mason is out long, he might play this week, he might not. Depends. It can go either way. Like I said, it's at your discretion. Next, we have Sean Tucker. The name is me. Tampa Bay Bucks, 143 rush yards. 10 yards per carry and a touchdown he got. Not bad, not bad. 14 carries last week, 136 yards, 9.7 average, and one touchdown, 36 long. 8.9 yards rushing attempt. Not bad. Definitely add him if you can get him. Plays for the Bucks. Seems like it. Pretty solid. But. You know, with Rachel White injured, he's not having a great season. Bucky Irvin's doing better. This is just for more depth. So. I definitely look into it. Next, we have Romeo Dibs. Now, like I said, everybody thought Wicks was a good option. You know, you got to take the risk. He was, then he got injured. A lot of injuries last week. Oh, my God, don't even get me started. Do not get me started. Bad week, bad week, bad week. I got five players on my squad that's hurt. Ingram's questionable again. I don't know what's going on. But let's see what we got. Last week. Three he had three catches, fifty yards. Not bad. Not bad at all. Of course, you got Christian Watson, but you still want to add Romeo Dubs. If you don't have him in your league, make sure you pick him up ASAP. Definitely think he's worth it. Next, we have Michael Wilson. Got to get him. Cardinals, if Marvin Harrison Jr. is out for a little bit, definitely pick him up. 11 yards, 11.3 yards. Reception, 21 receptions, two receiving touchdowns, and a total of 237 yards. Last week, he had four targets. Nothing too crazy, but if Marvin Harrison Jr. is out long, he could be your guy. I would definitely add him. Another one. They should all blow up without Marvin Harrison Jr., hopefully. Next, we got Noah Brown. K 
Commanders, Dotson, I, you know, I don't know. Commanders are iffy, you know. Noah Brown is it is a good pick, as you know. Jahan Dotson's on the Eagles now. Noah Brown don't really have competition except for Terry McLaurin. You know he's definitely a start, but. This guy will add depth, you know, total of 169 receiving yards, 13 yards per reception. Last week against the Ravens, he had eight targets, 58 yards. Not bad, not bad. Not bad for a wide receiver. We'll definitely add him, y'all. Next, we got Ingram, who is questionable again. But I think they're just taking precautionary measures. I have him in my league. I have faith in him. Especially over Ferguson on Dallas. Horrible. He's been solid, but the last game he just... Mm -mm. Definitely add Ingram. He's on the Jaguars. 107 reception yards. 10 yards per reception. He came back last week. He had 102 yards. 10 targets. That's major. Especially when you have... You know wide receivers on your team like Christian Kirk Gabe Davis Gabe Davis always another sleeper pick make sure you add him he hasn't been really doing well but last week he did well next we got Hunter Henry oh man don't get me started do not get me started one game he does well one game he does bad last year same thing but He's not bad for just picking him up off the waiver wire. 221 according yards, 11.6 per reception. Last week, he had 41 yards, 5 targets. And do you have a tutty? Yeah, you had a tutty. Wow. Not bad, y'all. Next, we're going to get into defenses. Especially against the Broncos. I mean, I would start both of the defenses. Broncos, maybe not. Mm, I would lean more towards the Saints, but the Saints are banged up. Derek Carr out. <coughs> Lave out. <coughs> she might be out the rest of the season. Season and his injury. I think it was his knee. It's crazy. Another sleeper pick. But their defense is still good. And the Broncos aren't that great. <laughs> Wait a minute, Shiz. Did you just say the Broncos defense? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I'm pretty sure they did well last. Yeah. 16-23. Mm, but the Broncos stink, but their defense is, is good too. We'll just have to see. So next for defenses we have the Chargers. Chargers are second in the AFC West. Let me sacks. What's their what's their stats? Here's their defense line, offense, three wins and two losses, not bad. I would definitely pick up the Chargers and start them. Definitely start them. Definitely. Let's see. Next one is Green Bay. They had 12 fantasy points last week. In my league, only four. I don't know why. But they have almost beaten some tough teams. Vikings, they lost by two. Not bad. 
I would definitely start them. It's probably like my third, fourth pick. You know. Let's see. Green Bay Packers. Here we go. It's not bad. Field goes 12 for 17. Could be better, but 30 for 74, third down conversions for them. But the opponent was 25 for 69. That's that's pretty good. Pretty good. I would definitely pick them up, guys. Next, we have the Lions. Lions or the Vikings. I would probably personally start the Vikings over them, but the Lions offense is pretty good. So the Vikings have a good matchup coming up. So it could go either way. That's going to be a shootout for real. Let's see the injury report. I have the Ravens defense in all my leagues. So I know some of their main defense players are still out. Evans, Blake Cashman. So just have to wait and see but I would definitely start them next another sleeper defense is the Bills pick them up and start them the Bills will be playing The Seahawks. That's going to be another. No, no, no. My bad. My bad. The Titans. Yes. Definitely start them. Definitely start them for sure. For sure. Third down conversions. 33 for 78. Same thing as Green Bay. Great. But their third down conversions and offense is terrible. So, like I said, depends on who they're playing. It's a lot. And next we got the Commanders. They're playing the Panthers. Pick that defense up and start them. You know, they'll probably get you at least eight points, maybe if not more. Probably be another shootout. Uh, leaning more towards the Commanders. They're better coming off a game. Tough game versus the Ravens. I'll definitely start them. Start them. Total sacks is 17. Not bad. Interceptions, one. Mm, could be better. Fumble recoveries, three. Start them, guys. B-Rob Jr. should be back, too. Next, let's talk about injuries, injuries, injuries. I'll give you all of them right now. Why loud? Well, that's defense. We're not even going to do that. Marvin Harrison Jr., questionable. Suffered a concussion. Who knows? He might not play this week. Probably hold him out. Zay Jones, Cardinals, hamstring, one-game roster exemption Monday. Excuse me. Rondell Moore, Atlanta Falcons, injured reserve. His knee. Oh, he's out the whole season. Wow. That's tough. Keaton Mitchell, Baltimore Ravens. He won't be back yet for a little bit. Owen Wright. Here we go. James Cook. Toe. He par participated in Wednesday's walkthrough session. It'll probably be toss-up. I mean, they play, what, Sunday or Monday? It's going to be tough. 
try a coach call before the game starts. David Moore, Carolina Panthers, questionable knee, limited practice today. Deontay Johnson and Tommy Trumbull. Deontay Johnson, questionable ankle, did not practice Wednesday. It's not good. I think he has till Friday. Adam Thielen, injured reserve. He won't require surgery for the right hamstring injury. So that's good, but he'll probably be out a few weeks. Travis Homer, running back for the Bears. Nashimba Webster, injured reserve, groin. Injured reserve, that's tough. Running back Chris Evans, Cincinnati Bengals. Injured reserve Monday. Sheesh. Jerome Ford, hamstring isn't didn't practice Wednesday. Nick Chubb out. Expected to be activated to make his 2024 debut against the Bengals in week seven. There you go. David Bell, wide receiver. He's on injured reserve. His hip. Brandon Cooks, injured reserve. Injured. Yeah, his knee. It's tough. I don't know when he'll be back. John Reynolds, Denver Broncos. Fractured finger. He'll be back November 10th. Tyler Batty, running back, injured reserve. Jeez. Traquan Smith on the Lions. Antonio Green, both injured reserve, both back February 10th. Wow. Next, we got Green Bay Wicks, Jaden Reed, Marshawn Lloyd, A.J. Dillon. Wow. Reed and Wicks should be back October 20th. They both was limited practice Wednesday. Robert Woods on the Texans. Nico Collins, injured reserve. Should be back November 10th. Wow. It's a while. If you have Tank Dell, make sure you keep him. Josh Downs, Michael Pittman Jr., Jonathan Taylor, all questionable. October 20th should, should return. Downs toe didn't practice Wednesday. Michael Pittman Jr. didn't practice. Jonathan Taylor remains sideline in practice. Sheesh. Gabe Davis, questionable. Evan Ingram, questionable. Travis Ntn Jr., questionable. They all should be back October 20th. They all were limited participants at practice, too. There you go. Rashid Rice. Season-ending injury. That hurt me the most. <laughs> I'm 4-2 in my one league. I took a hit when I lost him. I lost Puka in my other league. I lost Wicks in my other league. Olave. Bug. Sorry, my bad, y'all. Isaiah Pacheco, running back. October 20th, he should be back. Expect to return six to eight weeks. Hollywood Brown. Friday, September 15th, surgery. Jacoby Myers, questionable. His ankle, he's returned to practice Wednesday. Zamir White, questionable, no news. Dallas Clark Jr. Oh no, DJ Clark Jr. on the Chargers, injured reserve. Should be back October 21st. 21 day practice window because of his hip. Gus Edwards, injured reserve. Sheesh. Cooper Cup, big one, questionable. She'll be back soon, this week or next. If not this week, definitely next week. Jordan Winnington, questionable. Tyler Higby, tight end, he's out. His knee. He'll be ineligible for the first four weeks. She'll be back October 20th. Skylar Thompson, quarterback questionable. Grant DuBose, injured reserve. River Craft. These are all the Dolphins. Tua, where's Tua? He's expected. I think he'll be back either this week or next week. Definitely not, if not next week, the week after. Taj Washington, injured reserve, February 10th. TJ Hawkinson, he's going to be a big. Last year he went off. His knee. 
limited participant of practice. He'll definitely play next week for sure. I think so. Aaron Jones, questionable hip. He was on a practice field Monday. There's a lot of injuries. Ramondre Stevenson, running back. New England Patriots, y'all. Sheesh. Jack Quay, Jackson. February 10th will be back injured reserve. Knee. Here we go to Saints. Tyson Hill, Shahid, Alvin Camaro, Chris Olave, Derek Carr. Wow. Look at all these injuries they have. Alvin Kamara, questionable. Hand, limited participant on Tuesday's walkthrough. Tyson Hill. Did you know he's a wide receiver and quarterback? He could play all position, all three of them positions. Doubtful. Ribs, limited participant Tuesday. Shahid out. He might need surgery. He might be out half the season or the whole season, if you guys did not know. Rashid Shahid. Does he? She'll be back October 27th. I don't know about that. Olave, wide receiver, out. Concussion. He'll probably be back next week. Derek Carr, doubtful, October 17th. Oblique. It's tough, man. Now we got the Giants. Darius Slayton, wide receiver, questionable. Limited practice participant Wednesday due to a groin injury. Wondell Robinson, questionable. Limited participant due to an ankle injury. Injury. Devil. Devin Singletary, question, questionable. Growing practice in a limit fashion Wednesday. Malik Neighbors, questionable. He'll probably be back this week. Crazy. All these injuries. Devontae Adams, questionable. Hamstring. Should play October 20th. Malik Taylor, injured reserve. Here you go to Bird, the Eagles, my favorite team. Dallas Goddard, questionable. I think he got a hamstring injury. Najee Harris, questionable, no comments. Damn. Jordan Mason, questionable. Shoulder will be limited in practice Wednesday. Jake Moody, Rick Purcell, Elijah Mitchell, injured reserves. Surgery on his hamstring, wow. Marcus Sims, Seattle Seahawks, injured reserve February 10th. Wow. Rachel White, for, we got the Buccaneers here now. It's a lot of people, y'all. Trey Palmer, Cameron Johnson, and Rachel White, October 21st, estimated return date and all questionable. Cody Thompson, wide receiver, November 10th, out. Now we're on Tennessee Titans, Tajay Spears. Questionable hamstring. Won't pa practice Wednesday. Got the Commanders. Noah Brown. Questionable groin with limited of practice. All these injuries, y'all. Sheesh. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Appreciate you, you know, tuning in. Hope you liked the video. Smack that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more fantasy starts and injury updates. But I appreciate the love, y'all. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Young Shizzy. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Till then, see y'all.